Hi, my name is Richard. I am a freelance web developer with over seven years experience in the field. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to guide you on how to set up an online store website in 15 minutes or less using a free and powerful open source e-commerce software called OpenCAT. In this video tutorial series, we are going to learn how to get a domain name and web hosting for your online store, how to set up your online store in 15 minutes or less, how to set up your online store categories, how to create both simple and complex products in your store, how to set up shipping costs for your store, how to set up payment methods for your store, how to manage your store orders and customers seamlessly plus everything else you need to know to be in full control of your store and start selling online very fast. Okay, so at the end of the, this tutorial, you have a store similar to what you have here. Okay, you have a store where you can showcase your products so that people can check out your products and place order and then you send the products over to them using available shipping methods here you have your store categories where you arrange your products under different categories for example you have here you have laptops and you have different products equally here if you click on the product you go to the product page where you can see the description the specification reviews Visitors can be able to order this product from this page here and proceed to check out and pay you. You will receive this order in your store backend. Talking about store backend, you also have a store backend where you can manage your store products and uh, store orders. Okay, in this tutorial, you have a store backend like this one where you can manage your store products. You manage your store categories and so many other things you manage your store orders these are orders that customers placed on your storefront you can be able to manage them here okay you can be able to print invoice print a shipping list here okay so this is what you're going to learn in this tutorial series but uh, before we proceed there are two things you need to do before we can set up your online store one of them is getting a domain name we need a domain name domain name is the unique address where people can find your store online for example if i type amazon.com okay this will take me to amazon website where i can see the products they have in display okay so we need something like this we need a domain name where people can find our store another thing we need is a web hosting a parking space on the world wide web where your website files and database are stored ready to be served to your website visitors when they visit your website so we need a web hosting we need a domain name these are two very important things before we can talk about setting up an online store so for this tutorial, I'm going to recommend a very, very powerful hosting that I have been using over the years and I have been recommending to so many of my clients. I'm talking about Host2Go, a powerful web hosting that has been around for some time now. If you go to Trustpilot, they have a 4.6 rating. Okay, If you go to, through the customer reviews, you see most of them saying good things about uh, Host2Go here see this one see very satisfied with service and support they can solve every problem <laughs> that's funny but that's to tell you the level of satisfaction this person is getting from the host to go service and if you go to host advice the same thing they have a 4.8 ratings and if you go to customer reviews you see people saying good things this one say best cryptocurrency vps hosting this one's a cool support price servers very reliable and safe this is just to tell you how awesome host to go is and then um, 
check the link on the description area of this video you will see a link that will take you to host to go website and you'll be able to buy your hosting using that link and i implore you to use that link by using it you're supporting me to continue to produce awesome video like this one and two things i like about host to go apart from their excellent hosting services uh their pricing which is very low and very affordable when compared to other hosting out there and another thing is the transparent pricing model they use what you pay at entry is what you pay during redua no hidden cost at all unlike most hosting providers out there like bluehost that will rope you in with heavily discounted entry price but when the time for renewal comes you'll be amazed that you'll be forced to pay three times to six times higher than the entry price just to renew your hosting package and uh, if you click on the host to go link in the description area of this video below you'll be taken to a web page like this where you can see all the hosting plans that host to go has to offer here you have the shared hosting the business cloud vps hosting reseller hosting and dedicated servers okay but for the sake of this uh, tutorial we are going to use the shared hosting which is this wordpress hosting up here and we are going to choose the c panel control panel for this demonstration okay so let's click on the c panel option here and when you get to the c panel hosting you will see different packages here you have four packages here wp1 cpanel e-commerce cpanel wp unlimited and uh, of course the cpanel advanced ddos protection okay the cpanel wp1 is 22.8 dollars per year and you have a uh, one website and uh, one mysql database this is not uh, recommended at all because you are restricted to just one website alone so i always recommend you go for the at least the c panel uh, e-commerce package which is 32.4 dollars per year so here you can host up to 10 websites with this package you have uh, access to 10 mysql databases unlimited mailboxes awesome 10 gigabyte ssd web storage which you can use to store your website files you have a 30 gigabyte monthly bandwidth you have a um, c panel control panel of course and you have free ssl certificate called jet backup which backs up your website to a remote server two times daily you have also ddos protection for free and the most awesome one i like about uh, host to go is their technical support they are very knowledgeable and they are very very responsive you can get help from them anytime you need it okay and you have the wp unlimited which is 57.8 dollars annually and of course you have the advanced ddos protection which is 15 dollars per month for this tutorial we're going to be using the cpanel e-commerce package here which is 32.40 dollars per year okay so we'll scroll down and click the order now button okay here you have the choose a domain step first is to register a new domain altogether here i can enter my new domain like um, dbrdemo.com choose the tld which is a dot com click on the check button here and it will check whether the domain is available for me to register now okay the next option is to transfer an already existing domain that you own to this um, host to go okay assuming i want to transfer design by reach i can enter design by reach I select the cld and click the transfer to transfer this uh, this um, domain to host to go and the last one is when you have you, you already have a domain registered somewhere like namecheap or godaddy or anywhere else and you just want to point the name servers to host to go you can enter the domain name here and enter the tld and click the use button to use this domain on host to go but for the sake of this tutorial we are going to be using the register a new domain 
option so i'm going to enter my domain name here and click on check availability okay you can see the domain name is available dbr demo is available for me to register and i have different tlds i can use i'm going to register the .com tld so i'm going to click add it has been added the next thing is to click on the continue button here here you select the billing cycle you have option to select one year two years or three years okay so depending on your need if you want to register this um, hosting for two years pay for two years you can check this button if you want to pay for three years you check this button but for here we are going to select this one year which is 32.4 dollars plus the setup fee okay you can see the other summary here the 32 dollars point four the setup fee is three three dollars twenty cent okay all together giving you 35.60 dollars okay so we'll click on the continue button here okay here you have two options you have the dns management add-on and the id protection for me i would take this because it's free of charge but this is extra uh, cost 9.9 dollars .9 per year okay id protection if you want to hide your who is information i have nothing to hide so i'm not going to tick it but if you want to hide your id you can always tick this button and they will charge you extra 9.9 .9 dollars okay so i click the continue button here we have the wordpress hosting c panel e-commerce package i have the domain name registration which is 13.81 dollars per year and um, everything is okay with me so the total charge is for 9.41 dollars i click on the checkout button here to continue and pay okay so the next place is where i enter my details okay then the billing address then if you have a company you enter your company name then you enter your address here for me let me enter my address okay once you fill up the billing address and you scroll down enter your password here enter your password and then uh, select the payment method you want to use i want to use uh, you can use a credit card you can use paper you can use paper credit or debit card you can use bitcoin to pay them for me i want to enter a credit card okay i enter my credit card information okay okay and you scroll down if you want to join their mailing list for me i don't want to then i can click on i have read and agreed to the terms of service okay you can check up the terms of service so click on the complete order to process your order for this hosting package okay it's loading okay it's coming up i will wait for it to process Okay, the other has gone through. So congratulations, we have purchased a domain name and hosting package. So we click on the continue to client area button here. Okay, so here is my client area. Okay. The next thing we need to do is to go to our email and check the email they sent to our inbox okay here we have a uh, so many emails from host to go but we need to verify our email address so we click on this email to open it and then click on the verify email address link here to verify our email address okay now our email address has been verified we can now go back to our email okay 
Another important email we need to act upon is the verify your contact information for your domain email, this particular email here. So we'll click on it to open it. Then we click on the link to verify our email address for this particular domain we just registered. So we'll click here. Okay. As you can see, our email has been verified for our domain. So we go back to our email and then back to our inbox. Okay. The next email we need to check is the new account information email. This email is very important because it contains the details of our control panel. So when we open it, we scroll down. The first section is the new account information where you see your hosting package, the domain and the, the amount you paid and the amount you will pay the next due date. Okay. Then if you scroll down again, the next section is the login details where you are provided the username and the password to log into your control panel. That is the C panel here. So here is the temporal URL that you can use to log in into your control panel pending when your domain name has uh, propagated. Okay, so the, another section we need to look at is the name servers. Assuming you registered your domain with another registrar and you need to point it to host to go, you can use these uh, name servers to point it to host to go hosting so you can be able to host your website on host to go. Okay. So, okay, here we click on the control panel URL here because I believe by now my domain must have been propagated. Okay, let's see. Okay, it has propagated. So, I will use the username and password. provided by host to go to log into my C panel. Okay, here is uh, the control panel for my website and uh, I don't like this style. Let me change it to the proper click on change style here and select this uh, basic. Okay. Then go back to control panel. Okay, now we have the C panel interface here. Now you see different different uh, modules that you can use to manage your website. Okay, so in this video we have succeeded in getting a domain name and a hosting account for our online store. In the next video in this series. We are going to demonstrate how to install your online store in 15 minutes or less using an OpenCAD e-commerce software. Okay, so thank you for watching this video and watch out for the next video. Please click the like button if you have gained any value from this video and also subscribe. And if you have any question, leave it in the comment section and I will try to answer you. Okay, so have a nice day and watch out for the next video in this series. Thank you for watching.